What's up guys, welcome back to another video, uh, another day, another model, another render, another piece of content from Steel City Interactive. As I have to say, I'm absolutely knackered, I've just spent the last 10 hours tidying, reorganising, just the whole setup has just been redone, I'm absolutely exhausted from doing it, you know, you just, nothing was going right when I was trying to reset it up, but... Uh, Undisputed put out another post 25 minutes ago, so a bit slower than normal, I apologise for that guys. Uh, and they said here, Sheffield's own Kel Brook, former IBF wel welterweight world champion, will be available on day one of early access in Undisputed. So, pretty, uh, pretty awesome, pretty awesome to have him in. Two photos, unfortunately no shorts on show here, but we have got branded gloves. Um, a great scan though, so let's get into the first picture right here. Uh, a very different lighting to what we've seen before, in my opinion. A very different lighting. Um, yeah, a very, yeah, very, very different lighting. I assume from the little amount we can actually see the shorts, which is the tiniest little fartiest amount ever. I assume it's the shorts we've already seen from Kelbrook, because we have seen Kelbrook before, and we've seen him in some gameplay um, a good few times. So it was no surprise really that he was day one. Um, but yeah, an interesting, an interesting scan, to be honest. Again, I'm, I'm always disappointed when we don't get the shorts, but I like it. I like the scan. I, the lighting is good. The hair looks good. The beard, in some places the beard could be a little bit better, but other than that, no real issues. Muscle definition, complexion, everything like that is brilliant. Interesting lighting. Not saying I don't like it, I'm just saying it's just a different kind of lighting that we've seen before. And then if we go across to the second image here, we can see those gloves were indeed Adams, which is no surprise. Hopefully we start to see some other brands in the future, but a dip, definitely a different lighting between the first two, um, but mainly on the face, uh, especially on the face, sorry. Um, but again, great lighting, good to see, you know, we see a bit of sweat, but we're not seeing like overly shiny, you know, polished fighters. We're seeing, you know, a good amount of sweat, a good amount of, you know, actual skin, um, feel, skin look, how we actually look in real life as opposed to shiny character models. Uh, but good scam. You know, I like the red gloves. I, honestly, I really do. Um, but it's just a shame that they're always Adams. But there could be some kind of deal they have of Adams at the moment to show them off in all the renders. Who knows? Um, but hopefully we'll see some other brands in the future. But I like it. And I think Kelbrook is great for day one, if I'm honest, guys. Um, if we get to my list up, we've got 27 now. 22 men, 5 women. Kelbrook should, if he were to join all of his weight classes, he should join welter and middle, I believe. Um, and one thing you can't take away from Kelbrook is, is this this dude's a tough son of a bitch. He, he really is. At 40 and 3, losing to Terence Crawford, Errol Spence Jr. and Gennady Golovkin, all in their prime weight classes. I mean, that is a man that is happy to take the dangerous fights, if you ask me. Crawford, Spence and Triple G are some of my favourite fighters as well. So for me, it's no shame in losing to those. And if he does join the welterweight and the middleweight division, those are some great fights we can have. We can have him fight across the welter and middle. We can have him fight Ryan Rhodes, Sugar Ray Robinson, Terence Crawford, Mickey Ward, Sean Porter, Canelo, Roy Jones Jr., Nigel Benn, and again, Sugar Ray Robinson and Canelo, because obviously they're both in middle and welter. So some really great fights for him to have on day one. Obviously, he may have some interesting stats, given that his three losses all come by KO. But obviously, he had his eye shattered in in the Triple G fight. I believe he had his eye shattered in, in the Errol Spence fight and was completely put down in 10 and 11. And in the Crawford fight, I think he just wasn't just just wasn't good enough to beat Crawford. It wasn't even good enough to to survive half of the fight. With Spence, he went to the 11th. With Crawford, he went to the fourth. Like, you know, different fights, different different times in his career. But those three losses to me, nothing to sniff at. Nothing to be like, ooh, you know, three losses. Th those three people KO you is, in my opinion, no real shame in that. Um, but I think it's a great pickup for day one. I really do. You know, we're, we're definitely getting close, you know, 27 now. So, you know, we're 23 ish away. They're definitely building up towards something. We'll see what happens this weekend in terms of if we get gameplay, perhaps next week, I'll probably see next Thursday, next Friday, we'll maybe get some gameplay, but we'll have to see, man. I'm excited. Uh, so far we've got some really, really great fights to be made throughout the day one of early access, even, if, even right now. Um, so it's exciting, it really is. But um, but yeah, thank you as always for watching, guys. Like I said, I'm sorry that I posted this one a bit later than normal. I just, I was just on a grind doing my setup today, doing my whole, you know, literally emptied the room out and just cleared the whole thing and deep, deep clean. You know, when you just get in that zone of that deep clean and it's just, it's great. But 
yeah, I was trying to set shit up and it just wasn't going right. Things weren't recording properly and so I had some issues with that. But all fixed now. And um, and yeah, uh, yeah, good scan. Not upset with it. Unfortunately, come on, show us the shorts. I know, you, you, you guys are like me. You're customization nerds. Like, I know it. I see in the comments. You guys want to see that 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 customization, the shorts, the gloves. You guys want to see it. And we want to see the shorts. We want to see the variety of gloves. So come on, show us the shorts. <laughs> but yeah. I, uh, I'm happy with it. Great pickup for uh, day one. And yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop waffling. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.